and welcome to my channel. That's a little bit too close. My name is Kika and this is my channel, so welcome. Today I want to give you 20 creative photo ideas in 300 seconds. Good, let's see if I can do it. Let's go. Oh, it's golden hour and it's mm, so nice to sit here. All right, let's get to it. Number one is to play with your food. It's always nice to do something that you weren't allowed as a kid. Food is a really good prop for you can use it to build these little compositions and it's cheap and afterwards you can eat it. Number two is to put flowers in your sleeves. So arguably this is maybe not such an original idea, but it's really fun way to bring some texture into your photo. And it's also just very fun again to do something a little bit whimsy. And that brings us to number three, which is put flowers in your boots. Variation on a theme never hurt anybody. Number four is to organize your favorite items. So if you have some things that have a nice shape or a nice color and you really like how they look, then why not organize them into a little Wes Anderson flat lay and take a picture of that. Number five is to make a puzzle of a photo. Or here you could also just take a photo of a photo. I think there is something nice to bring in a little bit of that analog feeling in today when everything is just digital. Number six is to make a cotton candy or cotton wool cloud. There is something in weather uh, stars and clouds and rain that is just like endlessly inspiring so you can use whatever you find at home uh, yeah cotton wool is something that you probably have at home and make a little craft a little cloud number seven is to find a colorful wall and match it with your outfit or if you can't find a colorful wall you can also buy gift wrapping paper and put that up on a wall and then put on an outfit that matches and you're good to go Number eight is to do a paper cutout. Again, this is a little bit of a crafty project, but you remember when we, uh, as a kid, you did those like snowflakes that you used to cut out? So this is basically the same technique. And again, it's a really fun way to bring some sort of like patterns into your photo. Number nine is to take an urban jungle mirror selfie. Yes, so we've all seen the mirror selfie like a million times, but you can bring all your plants sort of close by where you are. And that's like a really nice way to add some pop of color and just some interesting a vibe to the mirror selfie. Number 10 is to hold something delicate in your hand. In this picture I'm holding a Christmas decoration. <laughs> it's one of these little birds and you can find there's so many small things like delicate that just look very pretty in a picture and just holding it like that in your hand is a super good way to do a creative photo. Number 11 is to make a stack of things. There's just something very satisfying in stacking things on top of each other. Um, so use that as a compositional element and immediately your photo will feel like it has structure. Number 12 is to add a pop of balloons. Balloons are an all time favorite in photography, such a good way to bring some color and it's cheap. And again, very easy to transport anywhere. Number 13 is to water a giant flower or more specifically do a forced perspective photo. Number 14 is to water a tiny flower. And yes, I do realize that many of these are very floral heavy, <laughs> but flowers are just such a good way, again, to bring texture and they're just interesting to look at in photos. Number 15, pop some flowers and glitter in the freezer. So just pop some flowers and some water in a little jar or something, pop it in the freezer and voila, you have a very interesting piece of art to show in your photo. Number 16 is to make a coffee bean owl or it could be a coffee bean deer, for example, like this. Uh, again, this is like using food as props, but I think coffee beans are very good to use because they have a very sort of strong color and a very identifiable shape and texture. Number 17, make a tiny universe. Here you can again go crazy with the cookies and the lemons and the sugar. It's just so much fun to make these type of photos. Number 18, fold some origami. Well, here you first need to learn how to fold origami, but this basic the swan, it's not that um, difficult actually, once you've done it once. Number 19 is to print out a little forest. This is very specific, but you could print out anything and just uh, glue it to some paper and hold it in your hand and voila, a tiny little universe has sprung from your hand. Oh. And number 20, the last one, yes, more flowers, put flowers in your hair. You know, now it's spring and summer, flowers are all around, so why not go all flower, wild child and put some flowers in your hair or make like a wreath, 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 uh, and just take advantage of that. Super cheap and super fun to do. All right, I hope you like these tips. If you like this video, then why not hit subscribe and do the like and a like thing. Um, also, my Instagram is over at kutawakika. Come and check out more of my photos there and see you next time. Ciao.